Hello and welcome to Nova Meso Namorave in the Czech Republic, host to the first round of the UCI Mountain Bike Cross Country Short Track Olympic and Marathon World Cups. Before the racing gets underway, let's take a look at the new bikes and tech the riders will be hoping to take to victory this weekend. I'm Mejica Vancini, riding for Caloi Henke Vancini Racing Team, and I'm from Brazil. I'm riding the Caloi Elite Teen Edition, and that's a bike that I've been involved with pretty close on development and also on setting the specs and setup. It's quite challenging to, to be involved on the development of a bike, uh, sitting down with the engineers, then going to field tests, then understanding on how the bike works and where you can improve and extract the most of it on racetracks. I'm on a medium frame, uh, riding with 120 millimeters in the front and 100 millimeters on the rear shock. Setting a new team uh, personal project gave me the, the chance to choose the components that I wanted to, to ride with. Uh, and that's, that's pretty nice for sure to, to get in touch with the brands that I want, not that any company wants me to, to ride with. And that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, since uh, around October I've been testing uh, so many stuff and trying so many stuff until I uh, took my decisions um, considering my partners. That's currently what I love the most about my bike. It's everything new to me. To me it's not just a bike that someone uh, put me on it to, to race. Uh, it's a bike that I built, it's a bike that I choose the parts, it's a bike that I'm involved on every boat, on every single piece. So. Uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot of uh, emotions and feelings on that machine, so I, I do believe that uh, it's a very crucial winning compound. So I'm Tito Ancarod and I'm riding for Team BMC. This is the full stroke 01 and it's a M size to my teammates, uh, maybe for sure the, the position, the high of the saddle, the lower of the steam and underbar and maybe also all the tire settings and suspension settings. Favorite things is the, the auto drop, like this. I just have to push full on the lever and the saddle goes down and just in the middle on the lever and it, it goes up. It can also work like a normal one like this. That helped me a lot because I can pedal this till the last moment and uh, that avoid me a lot of squat during the race, so it's, it's quite nice, yeah. The forks and the rear shocks are new. Last year we were with uh, another company, this year with Solins. We did some testing with Solins during all the winter, also with Pirelli, also with BMC to try to improve the bike. Yeah, a lot of testing and I love it. It's a part of our job, so yeah, it's nice. It's, it's important to have a light bike, not the lightest because I don't want to take some risk, but yeah, to, to gain some weight some, in some parts, it's quite important for me, yeah. Around 10.5 10 kilos. Yeah, the first World Cup is all, it's always nice and yeah, it's, it was a long time since last year, the last World Cup, so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm Yolanda Neff and I ride for Trek Factory Racing. I ride the Trek Super Caliber, size medium. I don't know too many <laughs> techie details or setup specifics. What I really don't like is when my position changes, I broke a saddle and then I had to put a new saddle on, which was a different model. And then I really don't like that when it feels a tiny bit different. Yeah, I, I really like to have the same saddle on all my bikes, on my road bike, on my mountain bike. We do change the chain ring size for short track races. I always take a bigger size chain ring and for cross country, I'm usually on the 32. Higher pressure and the suspension as well. I have like a baseline that we start with at every race and then only when I feel I need to really change something, then I, I make some adjustments. I used to ride Crank Brothers for a long time and right now I'm testing the look pedals. I'm not set yet exactly which ones I'm gonna run at the races, but for now I'm, I'm testing them. This paint job is smoky. So it's like a white base and then smoke all over. So it's 
very individual. Every bike looks different. Yeah, there's some gold touches on the paint job. I don't even know how much my bike weighs. So obviously it's not very important to me, but I guess it's around 10 kilos, I guess. I really love this bike because it's so special, the way it works with the integrated suspension into the frame. No other bike has this kind of suspension. It's really unique, so I love it. I love the feel of it and I felt great on this bike from day one onwards and I've really enjoyed riding this bike on all kinds of tracks. I never have to second guess and I always feel right at home on this bike. I'm Alejandro Rodriguez, a mechanic to Prima Flor Mondraker Henwin's team and I'm mechanic to Andre Chink and Rebecca McConnell. This is a Mondraker F Podium RR. Yeah, this size for Andre is L. Wheels Mavic Cross Max and tire is a Maxis in this is a Spen and this is a new group the SRAM XX the set post is SX and the other components is the on off for all riders is the same part okay this fork is a 120 travel and the shock is a 115 with this block the, the same time. The pressure for forks and shocks is a 72 and 132 rear. Depend the, the track is more pressure or less pressure. Him tell me I prefer this or prefer this. Yeah, uh, Andre come to Spain for Mondraker factory to do the, um, the setting. And in wheels is a um, one bar and one one uh, rear. Andre always do the the full suspension. My name is Anna Terpstra and I'm riding for Ghost Factory Racing. I'm riding an S frame and 29 inch wheels. Uh, my tire pressure actually never changes. 99% of the races I'm at 1.1 bar in the front and 1.3 bar at the back. I'm always racing with tire inserts to protect from uh, flat tires. My fork has uh, 80 psi and my shock has 170. Uh, but this is something that I, I change every now and then. Uh, like core specific, we do sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less. Uh, we play a little bit with rebound. Uh, but right now, this is how I will try to get on course, yeah. I have a 10 centimeter dropper post in and like without my reverb, I would be dying on the descent. I'm so used to it. It's maybe a bit special about my bike. My cockpit looks a little bit different than of the other girls. Well, I prefer to have like a small blip box uh, for the dropper post. Uh, and that makes it possible for me to change the dropper with the right hand and change my suspension with the left hand, so basically at the same time. So my bike is 10.2 uh, kilos. Uh, of course, sometimes that also changes a bit, so also the weight will not always be exactly the same. Um, but for me, like, of course, it's important that it's light, uh, but it's more important that it works well. So it has to do what I need on a course out there. So therefore, I will make the choose to run the river, which is a bit heavier, but it will just make me quicker in the downhill. And I also make the choice to run the tire inserts because it saves me from flat tires. But I would say the most special thing about my bike and the thing that makes me most happy is actually the, the traction link. Ghost bikes make the suspension work in a way that it gets more stiff when I pedal harder. And of course, on a climb with a lot of roots, if you pedal hard, you want to have some suspension, but you also don't want to lose energy in the suspension. And that makes it like, for me, the perfect bike to race. Yeah, and a small detail maybe that I like a lot is that I have my name on my grip. So makes it a bit personal.